St. Patrick's College is set on a large site in the centre of Thurles, a vibrant and evolving town. In the minds of many, Thurles is associated primarily with the birthplace of the GAA and the home of Semple Stadium. The town also has strong traditions in golf, racing, rugby, soccer and athletics. Keen interest in the arts is reflected in the construction of a new library and arts centre adjacent to the college. Students from our college have already been on stage there in plays produced by Thurlis Drama Group, while other students have become involved in the town's musical society. We look forward to a new swimming pool and gymnasium, which will open to the public in the near future. St. Patrick's College was opened in 1837 as a Catholic lay college for boarders and day pupils destined for the priesthood, professional and business careers. The first National Church Synod since the Reformation was held in the college in 1850 in the old library where memorabilia of the occasion is still kept. Seminary life began to flourish in the early 1900s. Some 1,500 priests ordained in Thurles can be found all over the English-speaking world. A considerable number of priests ordained elsewhere also spent part of their formation here. And priests from the nearby Palatine College were trained here from 1909 until 1986. From 1950 until recent years, the Mercy Sisters lived and worked in St. Patrick's College. These sisters gave sterling service to the college for almost 50 years and the now renovated Old Wing will be known as the Mercy Wing. Since 1988, a BA degree in theology has been offered and is still running today. The decline in vocations to the priesthood meant the college had no option but to close as a seminary and in August 2002 the trustees announced their decision to suspend the seminary side of the college's work. Within two years of this announcement, the college launched a four-year integrated BA degree in Education, Business Studies and Religious Studies in collaboration with Tipperary Institute. This partnership gives our students access to the facilities of the Tipperary Institute campus also. Our degree programme is now in its fourth year and the first graduation will take place in the college in October 2008. The college has undergone extensive renovations and upgrading and this work is nearing completion. We have a new library, six new lecture halls, six tutorial rooms, a micro-teaching studio, a prayer room, a refurbished refectory, and a new computer room. The college chapel was renovated in the 1990s and our liturgies take place here. We also have 12 ensuite rooms for residential retreats. The grounds have also been improved with the development of a new playing pitch and student car park. The seating area and flower beds, recent additions, enhance the front of the building. Dr. Salvador Ryan, our academic coordinator, outlines the programmes delivered by the college today. Subjects such as world religions, religion and science, and social and business ethics, all of which are covered in this programme, provoke very relevant and very important topics for discussion among our students. In addition to our full-time teaching degree, we also run a part-time BA degree in theology, which attracts significant numbers of adult learners. We also run a number of certificate courses in locations both on campus and off campus, which have proved to be very popular in recent years. Joint coordinator of the Education Department, Michael Ryan, speaks about the necessity of being prepared for teaching in today's society. Yeah, I think it's a great privilege to be involved in training young people to be teachers in today's world. Teaching still remains in Ireland one of the most desirable professions. But I think more importantly to see them going out into schools and become teaching practitioners throughout the whole four-year programme. And I think it's a huge advantage they have here is that they've been in schools for four different blocks of time. And I think through the micro-teaching facility as well they get great opportunities to actually assess themselves and to get feedback on how their own skills are developing and their own knowledge bases. Business Department Head Jean Forbes-Cook outlines the key areas covered in this part of the programme. 
Students completing the programme will study the key fundamentals of business for delivery of business education in the modern classroom. Key fundamental areas include management, marketing, accounting, economics and entrepreneurship and business law. Diane Corkery, Head of Religious Studies, reflects on the importance of understanding theology in the context of religious education. With the introduction of religious studies as a Leaving Cert subject, there is a need for well-educated teachers competent in the discourse of theology. Of course, one has to ask, well, what is theology? Traditionally, the definition of theology goes back to St. Anselm, where he says um, theology is faith seeking understanding. An interesting definition for theology is the opening up of oneself to the possibility of the transcendence. Students are attracted to the college from all over Ireland. Thurlis has a wide range of accommodation available, including purpose-built, affordable units in student villages. Extracurricular student activities include Goshka, the President's Award, educational trips, bowling, football, hurling, charity fundraising, involvement in folk group, liturgical dance and meditation. St. Patrick's College has undergone many changes in appearance in its 170 years. But we believe that the spirit of unity and charity of our students has remained unchanged by the passage of time. <laughs>